Hey guys, welcome to Tom Tom Nation. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to drive a manual car. Now, there might be some videos out there already teaching you how to drive a manual car, but I actually have something pretty interesting for you guys today. I'm actually gonna have my friend learn how to drive a manual car in my car. I know, crazy, right? So guys, for the most part, I don't really let anybody drive my car, yet alone learn how to drive manual in it. But I wanna show you guys with some really good tips. You guys can learn how to drive a manual car as well. Now guys, believe it or not, I actually learned how to drive in a manual car. And it, I didn't really think nothing of it back then when I actually learned it. And now realizing that so many people don't know how to drive manual cars just hit me like, wow. Like I really need to show people why it's so fun to drive a manual car and how easy it could be to get started. Even if you don't have any experience at all, you could get started with some really good tips that I'm gonna give you guys today. And honestly, just a little bit of confidence, guys. It's not that it's not that bad. Uh, I love driving manuals. I My first car was a 2002 Mustang V6 a manual. And let's just say it was, it was a good first car, but I needed more power, definitely. And that's when I got this car. Another reason why I think you should drive a manual car is honestly, I think it's much safer and it could prevent some accidents just because you're so engaged with the driving and it just requires you to use both your hands, both your feet, and you have less temptations to go for your phone or look at yourself in the mirror, anything like that. So I honestly think that you could be more focused in your driving when you drive a manual car. All right guys, so before my friend joins us here in a bit, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to get started. So let's get to it. All right guys, so before we even get moving, we'll go over the pedals real fast, okay? So we have the gas pedal, we have the brake pedal, and we have the clutch. All right, so now you wanna familiarize yourself with the shifter. So many of them might be different. Some of them might be seven or five or six speed. Mine in this case is six speed, okay? So we got first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and reverse down, left, and up, okay? So it might be different for different cars. Familiarize yourself with which one you have and play with it a little bit, okay? So make sure that you're in neutral, left and right. That's how you know you're in neutral, all right? So, and get a feel for how it is to going, going into a gear, going into first gear, going into second, going into third. So play with that a little bit. Okay, obviously make sure that your brake's on. All right guys, so let's get moving here. So I'm gonna press the brake with my right foot. Okay, take the e-brake off. Now I'm pressing the clutch all the way down, first gear, and giving it some gas, and I let go of the clutch. All right, and there we are, we're moving. Now, I don't know if you guys can see, but that actually wasn't as smooth as, as I usually am when I'm driving normally. But it doesn't have to be, as long as you give it enough gas that it doesn't stall on you or, or bog you so hard, uh, you'll be fine. All right guys, so it's time for my friend to join us. I don't know what's gonna happen. I just, I really hope everything goes well and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, guys. So here we are with my buddy Anthony. Hey, guys. Um, so before we get started, really quick, have you ever driven a manual or attempted to do so? Uh, no, this will be my first time driving a manual car. So you see me drive my car. Have you ever really observed, or you just kind of like he knows how to drive manual and don't really pay attention? I, I kind of observed you a little bit. Uh, not you know not too much, but you know a little bit. All right. So basically, he's starting off without knowing nothing and. Uh, yeah, so basically what I already told you guys, uh, I'm about to show him right now. So yeah, let's get to it. The car is actually on right now, but I'll show him how to start the car. So we'll turn the car off. All right. So first things first, we gotta make sure that it's in neutral, right? And we could do that by moving it left to right. Okay. So left to right. E-brake is still on, right? Okay. So every time you wanna turn on, every time you wanna turn on the car, clutch all the way down, turn the ignition. I prefer you to use a little bit more gas just to be safe and uh, try to stay away from stalling, okay? So, right foot on the brake, yeah. e-brake off, e okay, so clutch all the way down, first gear, start, start on yes. the gas, start letting go of the clutch, just like that. Okay. So right now I'm just in the gas, clutch is completely released. Another car, you won't have. 
have so much torque in first gear, but being that this is this is all we have, so the first gear is kind of torquey. So if you give it a little bit too much gas, it might launch us, yeah. and it might end up launching the car instead. <laughs> but hopefully, uh, hopefully you don't get too scared when that happens. I think I'll be all, right. <laughs> all right, so now we want to come to a stop. I'm gonna let go of the gas and I'm gonna press the clutch all the way down, put it into neutral, and get on the brake. Alright, so here we are. Uh, so first thing I want to tell him is make sure that the clutch and all, basically all the pedals, and this should be any time, but make sure that you can reach it all the way down, that your foot goes all the way down on the gut on the clutch. So go ahead and press the. You're missing it. I know I am. Okay, press the clutch all the way down. I see. Okay. All the way down. Can you reach all the way down? Uh, yeah, I can reach all the way down. All right, I so. Yeah, so make sure you're set up. Alright, so let's practice that turning on the car. So let's turn it off. Right down. Okay. Cool. So go ahead and turn on the car. So what do you have to make sure first before you turn on the car? First, we have to make sure we're in neutral, which we are. Okay. Next, I'm going to go ahead and push down on the clutch all the way. All the way down. And I'm going to start the car. Softly, right? I just keep on. Like I said, so when you're turning on the car, it doesn't matter how how fast or how slow you let go of the clutch, okay. just because you're not um, you're not engaged in any gear, so that that's fine. Foot on the brake. So now I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna I'm gonna start going now. I'm gonna pu push on the clutch and uh, go into first gear. Yeah. So remember, before you do it, so clutch all the way down. You're gonna put it into first, which is left and up. All right. Okay. So once. Once it's in that first gear, you let go of the brake and you start giving it some you start giving it some gas and when you hear you hear the revs, you hear the RPM going up, that's when you slowly start letting go of the clutch. Okay. And then you start going. So remember, I'd rather you give it more gas than to stall it, okay? Alright, let's go. Is it in neutral? Press it in neutral. Put it in neutral. Put it in neutral. Press the clutch. It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. <laughs> he stalled. Turn it off. Press the clutch. Okay, no. Alright. <laughs> Alright guys, so as you can as you can tell, I totally failed on my first try. I stalled the damn car. Okay. So, so right now I. So like I, I said, you hear the RPMs uh -huh. going up, you hear the revs going up, but the car is not moving. So you realize that, right? So yeah. that's because the clutch is all. You're pushing the clutch way too down, which is fine, but you need to stay on the gas until you feel that engagement. That's when it, it'll start actually moving forward, and that's when you start releasing, releasing, and giving it more gas, more gas. Okay. So the thing that happened here, guys, if this happened to you, it's okay. So what happened here is that. He was on the gas, he was hearing the RPM going up, he hears the revs going up, but you're not moving. That's because he's too down on the on the clutch and he just needs to keep releasing the clutch. And once he feels that it starts to move, that's when he just continues to release the clutch and continues to press on the gas. So let's try this again. Okay, so so in case you get like like for some reason, like you're like, I don't know what to do, it car's not moving, whatever, you press the clutch all the way down again and put it into neutral. Okay. So if, if any way you want to feel... If I want to go back to restart... So this is a really good tip when you guys are starting. If you guys feel like you don't know what's going on, the car's not moving, and the, the car's revving out, whatever whatever the case is, it's being too abrupt, you press the clutch and you put it in neutral and you start again, okay? So that way we avoid uh, stalling like we just did. So turn on the car. Make sure you're neutral first. I am. So I feel like we are in a little like slanted area. You saw how we were moving back. 
<laughs> so um, that's fine. So remember, clutch all the way down. You start giving it some gas, and then as you release the clutch, don't let the RPM go back down. All right, let's go. Clutch all the way down. Give some gas, give some gas. Release a little. Give it gas, give it gas, give it gas. There you go. Alright. <laughs> that was a little abrupt, but good job. Alright. See, we didn't stall, so that's a good thing. Alright, so turn around, whatever. You see, you feel how torquey the first gear is, right? Yeah, it's just pretty nice torque right there. <laughs> it's pretty torquey, and that's why I wouldn't recommend to learn how to drive manual in a in a Mustang or any car over 350 horsepower for that for that matter. All right. Okay, so as you see how it's really grabby and torquey. Yeah. So and that's why uh, I have to shift gear so fast when 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 I'm driving. So you don't stop right here. Turn around. So we want to come to a stop. So remember to get out of a gear, you also have to press the clutch to go back into neutral. So press the clutch all the way down. Okay, I'm gonna start to come to a complete stop. So I'm gonna press the clutch all the way down. Okay. Get get put it into neutral. Okay, and no, then press the brake. Slow down with the brake. Okay. <laughs> you did it, guys. Good job, bro. All right. You basically just drove. You just drove a manual car. How do you feel? Feel feels good. Feel like I learned a little something. <laughs> now let's go to second gear. All right, so now we're gonna do a burnout. You ready? <laughs> so you want to try it again? Yeah, let's do it again. So remember, remember how you the revs were going so high, and the, and when you started to release, they, they started to kind of kind of go down, and that's when you give it more gas. So you saw when it engaged, it bogged and then it went. First gear, first gear. All right, my foot's still down on the clutch. Okay, take two foot off the clutch. <laughs> that was my mistake. I didn't yeah, so th that's another tricky thing when you're getting started. You have to think about you're pressing the clutch. You have to think about your ne your left foot now because you never had to use it. And now you're using your left foot, and you have to think about going to first gear. So that's a new yeah. thing. So it's understandable. So again, so you press the clutch, first gear, give it some gas. Start releasing the clutch little by little. Give it some gas. Give it some gas. There you go. Their time success. So as you as you guys keep practicing, so all right, there's no, some, no, you're having some. a little bit too much fun there. Uh, so as you guys keep practicing, that transition, that takeoff will be a lot smoother. So obviously, uh, he's giving it a little bit too much gas, and so it it kind of it kind of launches us a little bit. Um, but anyway, that was pretty good. I would say that that's not bad for for being his first time ever attempting to drive a manual car. All right, so now I'm gonna try and go to second gear. So I'm gonna okay. go. So same thing, so you're, you're gonna gain some speed because if you get too low on the RPM, you will you will stall. Okay, so gain some speed, clutch in, put it all the way straight down to second, and then same, same thing, gas. Okay, so press the clutch, second gear. Okay. Well, that wasn't terrifying at all. <laughs> okay, I did so, it. So now, since you're in second gear, uh, you could go a lot faster. Alright, I like that. <laughs> Sounds nice. So my buddy here, he actually drives a slow, I mean an FRS. <laughs> and, and an automatic FRS, so I'm sure that this is a little bit more power than, than he's used to. A little bit more torquey. What if I want to go clutch down? In. I'm going to go down to first gear, so I'm going to clutch in. So the shift up. So there's a thing called rev match that you do when you downshift, and we're not going to get into that, just because it'll be a little bit too confusing, and you might literally we might like launch a little bit too hard. So we're gonna right now we're just going to accept and be happy with what we did for today. But I want to go to first gear. No, we're not going into first gear because it's gonna that gear is so short and torquey that when you go into first gear, it, it, it yeah. literally will be too abrupt, okay? So trust me. And you're gonna be higher in the RPM when you downshift. Okay, that doesn't really make sense right now. I could explain that to you later. So right now let's just come to a stop. Which you're gonna press the clutch and put it into neutral, release the clutch. 
Press the clutch. Put it into neutral. Mid, so middle. Middle me. There you go. There you go. So it takes a while to, to learn where the, all the gears are at and when you're going into neutral. It just takes time, just like anything else. This is when my, R, my RPMs get too, or I'm going too slow, or my RPMs get too that, slow. That's when it can actually die out on you and, and basically you stall. Don't, you don't want it It'll basically happen. stall on you. So that's why you don't shift to second gear if you're going a little bit too slow. The RPMs are too low and it'll, it'll stall on you. Alright, you gotta chill, my boy. Alright, put it down. Neutral, neutral, middle, middle. There you go. Alright, it's a wrap. Alright. I'm sure my boy so, is like really terrified right now, scared out of his ass, <clears throat> but hey, you know what? I, I, I accomplished what I set out to do today. Got so, as you guys can good. see, <laughs> uh, maybe you might stall once, might stall twice, but uh, Guys, literally in a couple minutes, he actually knows how to take off in a manual car. You guys are capable of doing this too, and it's what I wanted to show you guys. And I let him borrow my own car to show you guys that it's very possible. All right, guys, so thank you for watching. Again, I had a lot of fun showing my friend how to drive manual car, and uh, honestly, it wasn't too bad. Uh, I could have very well stalled myself like I did a couple months ago. <laughs> um, every, it happens to everyone. And that's just how you get started. You gain a little confidence and then you just keep going and get started. So anyways, uh, you guys, thank you for watching. If you did like this video, hit that like button. And I hope a lot of you guys start driving manual cars. So as you can see, it's very fun. All right, guys, take it easy. See you guys in the next one. Deuces.